Hey, how is it going everyone? This is Cray and welcome back to another Summoner's War Siege video. So today we are up against Insula, Adventum and Goat. <sighs> Definitely gonna be a tough one. Hopefully we can just secure second I guess because Goat rank 1, the strongest guild in Asia server. Insula, Adventum also at rank 11 and we are currently at 13. On the side of Insula Aventum, Snap for defense, we are seeing the Mimir, Cichlid, and the Beta, a full tower of it. Tower 11, they are actually rocking this defense, the Elagil, Fae, and Manon. Interesting. Can't wait to hit it. And for their tower 10, no doubt about this one, gonna be their LD tower. So we're seeing a couple of Tianlong, Snaftis, the Dark Macaron Guard as well. On Goat side is the Kumun, Cichlid, and the Iris. Definitely a full tower of it. On their tower line, we are seeing LD defenses. Yeah, Goat does have a lot of all these kind of units. Uh, Sylvia and the Dark Macaron Guards, and definitely Tower 10, it's their the Bay Tower with the Fermions. I was actually expecting the Tianlong, so they change it up. For our first fight of the day, we're gonna have a fun one. Let's just mirror it, alright? We are gonna use our Tilmar's Figaro and Perna as well. I don't want to disclose the rune sets for these units because I'm running it on defense. So a very nice stun onto the Figaro already. And we got the glancing off onto the Tilmar's as well. Oh my god, we got a little bit greedy. I thought we could have popped the Endure buff <laughs> early. But thankfully, we got the additional turn, so our Figaro actually dies. We don't have to touch the Teomars though, because the bomb damage is definitely gonna kill it off. We'll work on to the Figaro. Oh shit. Come on, man. Armor break. Nice. No camouflage. Let's go. Even if we lose our Perna here, I don't think our Teomars lose to Perna, right? No way in hell. We are water. Yeah, we even one-shot it with the Triple Crush. I'm not really sure what to do against Insula Aventum's Elagil, Fae, and Manon defense, but I think just running triple win kind of makes sense because Manon... Unlikely he'll land the armor break, right? <laughs> yeah, let's just pray. We'll work onto the Fae first. Oh my god, he gets the stun. Oh please, please don't kill my Elagil. Okay, I can fuck with that. Let's go. We can cleanse and then we kill off Faye now. So let's just normal attack here. Double parry. Oh my god, I don't like that. But thankfully we got the additional turn. Now we can possibly work onto the Manon. Because Eladrol is gonna revive the Faye. And then Faye doesn't have the third skill. For now. <laughs> so we don't really need to be afraid of that. We'll shift our focus a little bit towards the Manon, so thankfully we got the strip off onto the defense buff. But our Elagil taking heavy damage though. Oh, we don't have the heal yet. Okay, let's just go for the fourth skill. Don't really need to cleanse with the third yet. Okay, Dominic, can you move? Yeah, I think now we kill the Fae. Shift the focus back towards her because might have the third skill, I'm not sure. I lost track. Big branding damage, come on. Nice, okay. No more reviver to deal with and there's nothing the Manon can do. It's time to hit this Mimir, Cichlid and the Beta. We'll just be running this lineup because Wadam is gonna sustain our Kakano for a very long time. And we do have Lulu for the cleanse and heals as well. So hopefully we can kill off the Mimir twice. I think that is the go-to plan. Um, Beta's revive is quite long. So we just kill the Mimir twice, then work on to the other two units later on. See how it goes. <laughs> okay, big crit. Let's go. Now I think we just normal attack. We don't need to do any skills yet. And we can just go for the hidden aim once again. Can we get some despair stuns rolling? On to one. And now we can just go for the third skill. So Kakado back to full life. Wow, he actually lands the reset, bro. Not cool. We have 100% rest though. Um, Does he have the revive? Can we stun? Nothing. 
So no revive yet. Because of the second skill placed onto the Mimir earlier. Okay, now she has it. Just kill it off again. Let's go. Now, about 5 turns cooldown on this beta. However, she violent proc. Placing the immunity again. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Come on, dude. Next turn, she does have the revive again. Man, every time 2 turns, bro. Can we get 2 turns as well? <sighs> have to kill the Mimir again? Hmm... <laughs> A little bit tricky now. Come on. Didn't get the crit, but still 20k damage. I'll take it. Okay, thankfully no violent prop from that beta. Ah, man, Kakano. Good triple resistance. But once again, the serenity is up. This skill is so annoying, man. Hmm. Probably we should try running this defense, right? Seems pretty good. Like, Cichlid always placing the increased cooldown time, resetting our units, Mimir will be the damage dealer. But I'm pretty sure you can also run Kakano instead of Mimir here. For these kind of defense, I think might be slightly better, like a tanky-ish Kakano. Because the other two units were sustaining so much. I feel like playing our Fingen, Valajo, and Alia. Fingen, very tanky. Vladjol does have some decent amount of damage output. Alia with the cleanse and heals. Kind of makes sense, but I'm a little bit afraid of Zen's third skill, you know? Because every time he does this, it's very tricky. Oh my god. Bro. Is our Vladjol gonna die? Shit, we can't land the armor break. We have very high accuracy as well, bro. Oh my god. Oh, 3 turns Fermion. Congrats. Now we are fucked. <laughs> Wait, can we come back from this? Uh, Kakano hidden aim, man. Well, thankfully, no armor break. Bro, 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 chill. Oh, I don't know what to do, man. Forget my die, the slow debuff. Ouch! Come on, not cool. Fing and drops, we lose. As simple as that. Nice, violent proc. Kakano dies. Okay. Now, every time we land armor break onto the Formion, it's not gonna be hitting too hard. I think we can sustain the damage output. So we can just go for the clans. Do we have the Calm Mind? Okay, we didn't get to move because of the provoke. Come on. Just finish off this Fermion. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. We actually came back from this. Another pretty close match. Now, I see a defense that we can bring in our Sierra, Gianna, and Nora. And I'll always be using this one against the Louise kind of defense because we have double strips. We got the bomb off. And I'm just gonna hold on to my Gianna skill because the Luis hasn't done the third skill yet. At least we are landing our bombs today. We are getting a lot of violent procs as well. Um Yeah. Put a bomb onto the Luis head. Don't want to detonate just yet. And then now we can go for the strip. Gianna? Nice triple stun. Okay, big damage done onto the Luis. But we still need to kill the Cracker though. The Cracker is an annoying one because of the third skill. Revive and basically refreshing all of the cooldown time of that unit. So can we get a stun? Okay, strip. Nice, nice. Let's go. Louis dies towards the dot. Tilmar's drops. Cracker, likely. I feel like playing a Belial this time, but we're gonna be running it with the Camilla and Riley. So Riley does have 100% resistance. We potentially just kill off the Tilmars we win. Because that's the only damage dealer on his side, right? Okay, good resistance. I'll take that. The Assailant Horn. Oh my god. Holy shit. There's so much damage, man. Uh-oh. 
freeze. The Tilma's so squishy. <laughs> um, we just need our Camilla to move a couple more times, right? So just pray to God that we can get some additional turn, I guess. Don't strip stun. Oh, I don't like that stun, man. Bro, we can't even crit. Okay, let's kill off that dark unit. Break damage done. No way to survive. Now, 2v1. And their buff is popped. Very simple. Okay, because there's no way the Clara wins. Our Belial is gonna be reviving soon. We can just press the auto button, wait for him to come back. And with this normal attack, this should do it. It's been a long time since we played our Bulwark Molong team, so I'm just gonna be bringing it over here. Hopefully we can snipe off the Liu Mei first. But it's gonna be a little bit tricky if the Liu Mei gets the pushback, so we'll see. Oh my god, I don't like that. How? How are they landing all their skills, bro? Holy shit. Oh, what do we do now? <laughs> uh, we do this, but the hug is coming. And we can't reckless assault the bitch. Yeah, we need to strip first, and we didn't get it. I've never seen Molong's second skill strip stun before in his life. Why is it so useless? Comparing it to Tianlang, right? Tianlang superior. So we can't really use any skills of the Molong yet. And our Bulwark is potentially gonna die here. Oh, we can't heal. Yeah, there's no way to come back. With Reckless Assault, we got no H we got no HP, right? Maybe should have just used my Cleave Calm Tiana Poseidon. This one, very simple. I don't know why I think too much. <laughs> no idea why I want to play this. Damn it. Yeah. Molong is slowly dying. Should have just Reckless Assault then. Now, we can't even use that skill. We can't even land Armor Break. Can't even strip. I mean, they got no damage. <laughs> this one is over. I don't really want to overthink this one. We're just gonna go in with our Galleon, Tiana, and Poseidon. Because it makes sense. As long as we move first. Okay, there we go. Galleon, please land your shit. You have one drop, and you got it. Okay. Poseidon, please push back. Because I don't expect you to kill anything. It's only like 30k damage. So Rakan actually drops, Liu Mei goes down as well, and there's nothing the Chandra can do. So we can see here Insula Aventum actually changed their net for defense to the Chilling variant instead of the Beta. I think with this one we can bring in the Kumun Elusia Lauren because there's no immunity on his side. We put the Chilling to sleep if we can. They're so fast though. Huh, can we strip? We strip everything instead of the will. <laughs> what bullshit. Okay, thankfully no confine. Now we really need to control this Mimir. Okay. We have to cleanse this armor break, but we don't have the skills. I don't like this at all. Oh my god, pushback. Just a little bit? Bruh, we have 100% accuracy on the Lauren, bro. Do something, man. Thank you. Get out. We missed crit. Oh, thankfully, we violent proc. Okay. So now, every time in this kind of situation, we are gonna put the danger to sleep. We work onto the support. Alright? Because we do know this chilling is so fast. Just gonna put him to sleep again. And we work onto the cyclic. So now, the shield for two turns. He doesn't have the cleanse just yet. Come on. Nice. Now, full control onto this chilling. Good sleep. Big damage done. Let's go. Uh, moving on to the last fight. I'm not really sure what to do against this lineup, but I feel like playing the Josephine Diaz and Abilio. So technically, we got counter towards the Camilla and Tianlang's freeze and stun with the Josephine. Diaz will soak up most of the damage done, potentially. 
and we'll try to kill off the Kakano first. So with a hidden aim in play... Okay, at least we got the stun. But for Diaz to land the second skill is gonna be really low, right? So we just hold on towards it. But that armor break now, I don't like it. Can we stun? Hmm, okay. Oh, this is tricky. We are not doing enough towards the Kakano though. It's so tanky. Ah, and the armor break always onto Josephine. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh-oh. No, no crit. How? Why you crit every time? Diaz got anti-crit. Can't even get it. Bro. I just need one more turn onto the Kakano. Oh my god. A Belial? Oh shit, we don't have the third skill. I'll take that stun. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Kakano very low on health. Can we kill? So close! Shit! Ah, oh, we needed our Abelio to Violent Proc, man. Come on! <laughs> the Camilla's heal is actually sustaining that unit. Hmm. No stun. Our Diaz got armor broken, so Camilla's damage is coming. Uh oh. Yeah, that doesn't do much onto the Camilla. Oh my god. Bro. No stun! Shit! We got stun instead. Man, the Camilla actually counters my team so hard. I was expecting my Josephine to do more damage, honestly. <laughs> we are just tickling this unit. Yeah, Avila dies. It's over from here, you know? So now we don't have the sustain. Yeah. Yeah, poke damage is just slowly gonna chip my Josephine down. As you can see here, with the slow debuff, we are not moving as well. Damn it, man. Unfortunate. So we got 8 wins out of 10. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 229 crystals followed by 424 guild points. We'll head over to check out the map layout at the end of that fight. So Goat winning this one followed by us at 2nd and Insula at Phantom coming in 3rd. Let's open up the rubbish box. We are actually guaranteed a SSS shiny box, right? Okay, come on, good stuff. Yo, what the hell? Two legend runes. Okay, we sell this. This fight, slot 2, flat. And some pretty potato rage rune if we can get triple crit damage. Just kidding. Okay, that's the end of this one. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as it helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.